a ride? Mm-hmm. We'll be, we're, we're, we're out here. We'll be right out. Um, I was really pleased uh, with the way we played tonight. Maybe our best overall effort uh, all season. I thought we came out with that, you know, hard edge and kind of grabbed the game by the throat and uh, had a little bit of a law with, uh, I don't know, three or four minutes. I think it was just above four minutes to go in the uh, first half. We took a timeout and the guys really you know, stepped back on the gas and we sprinted into the half. Sprinted out of the half. I love their attitude coming out of uh, halftime, uh, business-like, uh, defensive mindset. Uh, and I thought that uh, we rebounded the ball pretty well all night long. Uh, and uh, you know, our guards really rebounded the ball well, which is what we have to have. We have to have that guard, that, that game rebounding mentality. And, and I thought we did a good job of being patient on the offensive end for the most part. Sharing the ball, playing it, playing the game the right way. A little bit of running, a little bit of inside touches, drives, and you know took our jump shots from that. And I, I just felt real good about the uh, the effort. This is a you know, team that uh, you know pretty good, got some pretty good talent over there. Uh, you know they're up almost 48-28 at halftime last year, and, and, and beat us in here pretty good. So it was good to uh, come back and uh, get them here and. And certainly show some improvement from last year, but more importantly, show some improvement from the last from the last game. Can you talk a little bit about um, when Morag comes off the bench for you and it looks like this today? I mean, he's getting a spark. Yeah, I mean, he's really been that kind of player for us since he's been here, but particularly this year, uh, he's done a nice job with that. And, and uh, made a big shot late against Chicago State, made a big shot late against Auburn. And today, he just kind of came off the bench and really distributed the ball well, uh, you know, as well as giving us you know, quickness and athleticism and guarding the ball. He really starting to guard the ball pretty well now. Uh, just you know, played really well today. I mean, he was a big difference maker. Uh, and really had to have eight or nine assists and, and eight or nine rebounds. What do we have here? So I have my glasses. Uh, Kalar had 10 assists and 8 rebounds. I mean, eight, uh, yeah, 8 rebounds. So just a really nice job um, for us all the way around. Coach, your defense did a pretty good job of keeping uh, Milwaukee out of the paint and forced them to take uh, a bunch of jump shots. What, what did you, how do you feel about your uh, defense today? Well, I, I do feel good about it, but that's, that, that's not really hard to keep them out of the paint. They are a jump shooting team. The key was that we uh, really contested their jump shots and made them Shoot, they're going to shoot. They shot 41 in the last game. They're going to shoot threes, and so the key is to make sure you contest them and make and uh, make them shoot a low percentage. And clearly, we did that uh, tonight. Uh, the, the thing that makes me happiest about that that, that was a point of emphasis in our scouting report, and obviously our guys uh, heeded that and did a nice job in that area. Coach, there was such a huge difference between the first half against Chicago State and the first half today. What did you emphasize in between the days after the Chicago State game to get them to come out like that today? Well, just being a you know, consistent team, and, and if you want to go from you know fair to good or good to great, you got you got to be consistent. You can't. Uh, it's great that we responded in the second half versus Chicago State, but you can't play like that in a half and expect to keep improving as a team. So that's really what we talked about. Who do we want? To do? We want to be an inconsistent team, and we want to be a consistent team. And one of the things that you know we're working at is it just being a really good home team. And so we talked about you know that and, uh, we want to really establish this place as a really tough place for opponents to play and a tough place for them to win. Coach uh, Brandon Young had his uh, chin bandaged up in the second half. I did notice towards the end of the first half he did get pulled off the floor and was getting it looked at. What type of injury did he sustain? He's got knee stitches in his chin. I don't know exactly what happened. I saw it when it happened or shortly after that. But uh, he's bleeding from his chin. They got him out and sutured him up. And he, he may be getting stitches right now. Yeah, any questions?